What's up guys, this is Clash of Clans to Max, and today we're going to be doing a little introduction to Clash Royale. So, I know a lot of people are making videos of this already, but I really wanted to make a video of it because I really like this game, and I want you guys to be able to like it also, and to be able to know how to play it and what it's all about so that you can uh, just have a better understanding of it. So basically what it is, is... It's just a PvP version of Clash of Clans, so it's it's a game where you can play against other people or even your friends at the at the same time and fight each other instead of having to attack people and then defending while you're offline and then getting back online and attacking other people who are offline. You can just do it all at the same time while you guys are both online. And an awesome thing about this game is that you can attack people as much as you want and you don't really have to worry about troop training because your troops don't take any time to train up you can just constantly fight each other and it's overall just a whole lot of fun <clears throat> so um sorry about that i kind of have a cold right now but i'm trying to get over that so anyway we just did the first part of the practice round and uh what we did is we basically just sent in a bunch of troops and destroyed their uh, castle guys <laughs> and uh, and we got a chest from it so we got 15 gold from it we got one knight card we got one arrow card and that's it so basically what the cards do are after you get a bunch of cards and this little hand is showing you uh, what they do after you get a bunch of cards and you start stocking up on them then you can upgrade guys so he got more hit points and more damage per second and then more overall damage and so also, you got different varieties of cards, so you got attacking cards, you got arrows, and other kind of spawning cards, stuff like that, which um, you can place down troops to attack their guys, or you can shoot out arrows, which kind of damage their towers a little bit, but mainly kill their troops, which, which is a really good uh, offensive attack strategy. So, we're doing the training levels right now. This is the second training level, and it's really easy. All you have to do... <laughs> he said you're learning fast. Uh, all you have to do, really, is just kill their, kill their castle, guys. So, we already destroyed the one on the right. And then we went in to destroy the king. So, if you destroy the king, it um, automatically kills everything. So, because the king is the main character, you know? It's kind of like chess, so... Um, in chess, if you defeat the king, or if you, uh, if, if you get him, if you get him cornered, then, uh, I forgot what that's called, but, <laughs> basically, you win. That's the point of, that's the point of chess. So, in this, if you kill, oh, and it's showing me to load my other account, but I'm not trying to do that. Um, so, basically, if you, if you kill the king, then it makes you automatically win. But, if the time runs out, whoever has the most uh, kills or the most towers destroyed is the winner. So if you destroy two of their towers, then then you're the winner. If if they've only destroyed like one of yours. So anyway, uh, for for this training, it's really simple. I mean, they give you really overpowered troops, and uh, like I have a giant and a musketeer and a bomber and some archers and all this guy is sending me is little goblins and if you if you remember from clash of clans goblins aren't all that great they're not really that good so um training's pretty simple it's it's a really good thing to go through i don't know if you can skip it but if you're new to this game definitely don't skip it because it's a it, it's really helpful to help you to help you get started you know it teaches you how to place down your troops and how to use your elixir wisely and uh sorry about that i don't know why i was showing up that message but it helps you just overall learn how to play the game and that's a really good thing to do and a lot of people they like to just skip the instructions and go right to it i mean i'm not i'm that kind of person also i like to just go straight at it but really this this is a really helpful part although it's really easy um it it helps you a lot and my my little brother he started out trying to play it and he didn't get to go through the training because i actually did it for him so uh he was having he was having some trouble at the start but it's all good now he 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 kind of caught along so even if you don't do the training part then you're gonna be good you're gonna catch on because this is a pretty easy game so anyway beat trainer mike 
and we got a wooden chest from that so pretty cool so we're gonna go on ahead and open this chest up so we got 15 gold one archer and one arrow card usually that's what it gives you it gives you around 15 gold and then it gives you one of each one of each card it don't it only have like two cards inside of it but it's a really slow way to be able to uh get enough cards to upgrade so that's why after the training's over you can get stuff like silver chests gold chests or even magical chests and those help you those help you get really rare cards and they also help you upgrade really quickly so, um, basically, all, all you have to do is just spam a bunch of troops. There's really no strategy going on here. I just throw out all my troops, sh uh, shoot out a little fireball to try to take him out faster, and we get the three crown again. So, yeah, if you kill the king, then you automatically get three crowns, as you can see. So, it says, you, winner, g gives me the three crowns. Uh, so... We go on ahead and open this chest up again, and it takes 15 seconds, but, uh, oh yeah, we got a, we got a baby dragon out of this one, so, that was pretty awesome. Um, anyway, usually it takes 15 seconds for those to, to hatch, or whatever, or to finish training, um, but you can just jam them. You can use one gem and just skip the time, you don't have to wait at all, but... Besides that, there's no more waiting that you have to do in this game. Unless you're really, really high up in the ranks, then you're going to have to wait about five minutes for a battle. But that's that's just because there aren't very many people that are really high up in, in, uh, in this game right now. Because it's a new game. So, if you are level 10 or 11, which is really high, then um, that's probably because you buy gems. But if you're doing that, then you're probably not going to need to watch this video anyway because... You should already be pro at this game by the time you hit that level. Anyway, so yeah, hit that hit that king real quick. Straight snipe that dude. And we we beat him. I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's too easy. It's too easy. So we go on ahead and open that up. But we don't use a gem because I was kind of, I was kind of trying to save up uh, gems and stuff. Although, I don't know. You, you, I have a lot of gems, and one gem really isn't that much. So, yeah, anyway, we won that, and that was pretty easy. And now we're going to go on ahead and enter in our name, or my name. So, I'm just going to make it Max underscore YouTube, because, I mean, that's my name. And I don't know, I know a lot of people do that, but I just went on ahead and went with that. So, we got some gold, some arrows, and we leveled up the bomber, which is awesome, because the bomber is a really good... A really good um, defensive and offensive troop really he's just a really good all-around troop because if you send a bunch of troops to attack and you put them in the back then if they put in any kind of horde of troops or any kind of swarm just any kind of group of troops really that's what I'm trying to say then he'll take him out instantly he'll take him out in one bomb maybe two bombs so he takes it out really quick so he's just a really good all-around troop and we're still we're still in practice though so or training and that's not really hard so we're almost done with this uh we took that dude out and we're going in to kill the second dude and i think we do this attack even faster than our last attack so i don't i get i thought it was supposed to get pro progressively harder but i guess it got a lot easier i don't know or maybe i just got lucky so we took him out, another three crown, and I was really just cruising through this. I mean, it's it's not that hard, guys. It, it's pretty easy. You guys could do it. So that was, oh, that was, that was the last guy. That was the final guy. And uh, now we're able to fight against uh, real people. We can do PvP matches. So we opened up this one. We got some gems. Nice. And we got some archers, some goblins, and we leveled up our musketeer. So now we're going to fight a real person so this is how it works whenever you fight against real people so uh you go to the goblin arena that'll be your first arena and uh, you just send your guys in it's 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 pretty easy the first guys that you'll be fighting aren't really skilled at this game because i mean they're just learning so it'll be pretty easy to to fight them if you've already watched videos and you know how to play this game then it'll be pretty simple for you so we basically just send in all our guys and we have our epic card in there which makes it really easy because baby dragon this dude is overpowered this dude is awesome so we take out the first one without him even touching us at all 
sent in a giant and a bomber, which was an awesome counter to that witch, because witch takes up groups of skeletons, but bomber is really good against killing groups of enemies. So we take that out really quickly, and then we have three dudes attacking his king right now, which is really good. So he's probably pretty stressed out right now. Um, and he takes out the musketeer before we can take him out, but it's all good because we still have other cards to send in, so we just start charging up elixir a little bit, and we send in some archers. Uh, archers are pretty good against taking out uh, giants and stuff like that, and we have a baby dragon in there, which is good because he hits both the giant and the knight, so does a little bit of splash damage, which is pretty good. <clears throat> So we got this baby dragon going into the king, and we got a giant going in also. With giant, giant ignores all of their troops, so he goes straight to the king to kill him. So I think it's I think it's over now. So this is probably this is probably GG right here. This is where we call it a good game. Yep. So we got a three crown right there. <laughs> it was a uh, it was pretty good. It was a pretty good attack, I guess. I don't know. It was the first one, so it wasn't supposed to be too hard. Also, you get you can get crown chests. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got a silver chest. So, this gives us some pretty good cards. It gives you better ch cards. And if you kill... If you... Uh, oh, yeah, we're going to level up the mus musketeer also. If you kill a bunch of towers over and over, up to 10 then it'll give you a crown chest so you guys will find out what happens when you do that and there's just a bunch of other really cool things that are gonna happen that you guys just gotta experience while playing the game you know I can't spoil everything for y'all so we upgrade the arrows um, just trying to upgrade as many troops as possible and we level up so what that does is it upgrades our king tower and our other two towers gives them a little bit more health and a little bit more damage so, also we got this goblin card, which is pretty cool. So I think we're going to go ahead and swap him out for the bomber. Because bomber's alright, but I want to try these goblins out. So, uh, that's, you know what, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you guys learned uh, a little bit how to play this game, you know. Got a little bit, uh, got a little bit of knowledge about this game. And I hope you guys try it out. Go try this game out. Have fun playing it. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next video.